Hello world and welcome to my channel today. We are going to be making a paper crane mobile that would make excellent bedroom decor or just something that you could hang up around your house. And some of the materials that I'll be using for this project you could probably replace using items that you just find around your house. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first step of our project is to make the hoop that we are going to tie all of our paper cranes to and make them dangle. Now the material I'm going to be using for the hoop is this natural wood veneer. This is the Cricut name brand and as you can see I got it all in clearance. Look at me saving money, bargain hunting. I will be using this stuff just because I like the wood finish. I thought it would add a nice finished look. Of course you can use cardboard and paint it or you can even use an embroidery hoop and just tie on the strings to the embroidery hoop. So the pieces I will be cutting out of this wood veneer are going to be two rectangles, each being 11.5 inches long and 1 inches wide. There will be 11 holes cut into each in total, each of the holes being about a little under half of an inch wide. And I'm hoping when I glue these two together, I'll create a nice big hoop. I will be using my Cricut Maker to cut out these pieces, but of course you can use regular scissors or a hole punch. Since I'm using this wood veneer, I thought it would be best to use my Cricut Maker for cutting out these pieces. So let's go ahead and let's cut them out. So the suggestions on the wood veneer said to use the strong grip mat and tape it down. I didn't have a strong grip mat so I just decided to use the standard grip mat and some scotch tape but then my scotch tape ran out so I, and I was too lazy to go downstairs and get more so I decided to use some packing tape to tape it down and that didn't work out too well. It ended up not fitting through the slots, the packing tape just made it too thick so I went back downstairs and I got some more tape but then it wouldn't fit and it was so frustrating I was did all that and it just wouldn't fit it was so close but it wouldn't fit so I was upset so I had to use scissors like a barbarian but then I finished taping down the other sides and then it worked good and I was able to cut out my pattern Okay guys, I have my two wood veneer strips right here with all of the holes um, through them. I did sand the holes a little bit because they were a little bit rough. That's probably why they uh, tell you to use the uh, strong grip mat, not the standard grip mat, but it's fine. It's still cut it out. I would recommend using the strong grip mat. Don't do what I do follow the instructions. Okay, so now what we are going to do is actually glue these two pieces together so they form one round shape. I'm going to glue them just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use super glue to glue these together and oh. so I'm just going to use super glue to glue these together. I'm going to make sure there's a they are both on the right side because there's definitely a pretty side to these. And let's just, oh my gosh, I came out fast. And we're going to just line these up. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh man, that's sticky. Oh, that's sticky. Okay, I hope that's lined up straight enough. Now we're going to bend this like this and glue these two together. Wow, look at that. Ooh, this is exciting. Wow, that looks really good. It looks pretty circular. You can also paint it any color you want. You could paint it, you know, white if you want a more clean look. You can even glue, like, ribbon and glitter or whatever you want onto the ring just to add more visual interest. Me, I'm going for a more simple look, so I'm going to leave it plain like this with just the circles. You can even make the circles smaller. They do not have to be this big. This is just 
personal preference. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and set this off to dry, and while that is drying, we will work on our paper cranes. Okay, for the paper cranes, I will be using these three colors right here. I wanted to go for a kind of light, happy color palette, so I decided to do some plain white, some pastel pink, and some yellow. So I am using some cardstock and just com plain computer paper. You can use origami paper, which is kind of made for this, but if you don't have origami paper, you can use computer paper. You can print out patterns on the computer paper and then just cut them out. You want to cut squares out of the patterns of your choosing, and depending on how big you want your paper cranes is how big you cut your squares so my squares are probably going to be like i'm trying to decide how big i should make it i just finished cutting the yellow sheet of paper and i decided to make each of my squares four inch by four inch so now i will go ahead and i'll cut the white and pink paper and then we can start folding our paper cranes Okay, so we are going to start folding by folding this sheet of cardstock in half. We're going to bring together these two corners and we're going to fold it in half so that it makes a triangle shape. So it looks something like that. You want to make sure that your creases are nice and crisp. See this one isn't folded down all of the way. I just take my fingers and I run them like this to make sure that it is nice and crisp and folded. Then we're gonna open it up. We are going to then take these two corners and fold it in a triangle once again, except in the opposite direction. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, folding it and make sure the edges are nice and flush. Now we're gonna open it up again. The next step is to take these two sides and fold them together, so we're folding it in half. Now we are going to open it up and fold it in half in the opposite direction. Make sure you line up your edges good and it is nice and even. So I'm going to open it up again and you should see all the creases and all of them meet up in the middle. So next what you're going to do is you're going to fold it into that triangle shape again. So you have something that looks like this. Then you're going to take this edge, open it up like that, and you're going to bring it down so that it now makes a diamond shape, just like that. Then you wanna flip it over and you wanna open up the other side and fold it down so it makes a diamond shape. So now you have a piece that looks like that. Next step we wanna do is we wanna take this flap and we wanna open it up like this. This part can be a little tricky, so just, you know, take your time, be patient, and you, what you want to do is you want to fold this inwards. The edge of the paper meets up with this inside crease. And you just want to fold it down. And then you want to do the same thing for the other side. So that it folds. And then it should fold flat, just like that. So now you have a piece that looks like that, and what you want to do is you want to flip it over and do the exact same thing to this side. So now, now you have a piece that looks like this. You're going to take this corner right here, and you want to fold it inwards towards that middle crease, and you want to fold it all the way down. So you want to do the same thing to the other side, so that both sides have those corners folded in. So now you have a piece that looks like this. Then you want to go ahead and flip it over and do the exact same thing to this side. So now you have a piece that looks like this. And what you want to do now is you want to open up a side like this. You want to put, you want to fold this edge right here into this little pocket. And this will be either our head or our tail. And we'll just fold it up like that and then we fold it close. 
and that just bends it in there. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side, just like that. And then we're going to fold it close so that it creases like this. So now you have something that looks like that. Next, we're going to fold down the wings. So we're going to take this and we're just going to fold it down. Then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Then you want to pull out these just a little bit. And then you have to decide which one of these ends you want to be the head. So usually the paper crane will just speak to you and tell you which side is its, is its head and which side is its tail. So little paper crane, which side is your head? And I think it is this side. So I'm just gonna fold down this side, fold it down and in. And there you go, you have your paper crane. You can pull out the wings, make his back a little bit more prominent, and this will help him stand up, and there you go. So we have a lot of these to fold. I'm gonna fold at least 11 for my mobile, so let me go ahead and let's get on that. So I'm going to use some regular thread just to attach these to the ring. I'm going to use a sewing needle just to poke through our paper crane. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take a paper crane, unwrap some of the string first, and I'm going to tie a knot on one end. I'm going to go ahead and like just tie it a bunch of times because I don't want it to go through the paper. Now the way I am going to do my mobile is that the cranes are going to hang from the ring in like a descending order. I'm not going to do um, exact measurements or anything. I'm kind of going to be eyeballing it because I'm going to be real with you guys for a second here. I don't really feel like measuring. Okay, that that's the truth. I'm just going to own it. I don't feel like measuring. So I'm just going to guesstimate it and just go with what I feel and I think it will turn out just fine. I have my string threaded onto my sewing needle. Now the paper crane naturally has a hole on the bottom. It has a hole so I'm going to poke my needle through that hole and then I'm going to try to get it and poke it through the center of the top right here and see it will rest on the knot we can pull our needle out now and we have it like this so what you want to do next is there might be some extra string dangling underneath so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off there we go start with this first hole being right here and let's tie it up that high I think that will be a good starting point the first one is gonna be slight short and it's just going to get longer as they go down. You can do them kind of in like random lengths to make it a bit more like whimsical or you could do a ring of short and a ring of long. It's just up to you and how you want yours to look like. I want to do mine in kind of like a spiral. So now that I have it kind of like the length that I want, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. And we have our first paper crane dangling like that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue threading and attaching these paper cranes until I am happy with it. And I will check back in with you to show you how to hang it. Okay, so it came out a quite a bit taller than I expected. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to attach the hanging mechanism at the top. I recommend doing that before you tie all the paper cranes together because it was a little bit tricky, you know, tying them while holding it. So if you do this part first, then you can hang it up while you tie on all of your paper cranes. 
Okay, so I had to take it off camera just to adjust it a little bit. So, but I will explain basically what I did. So I ended up having to cut each of these strings to five inches and I made this little ring to attach them to. I just made it out of just some wire that I had because I didn't have sort of a ring that I liked. So I went ahead and made my own and then I wrapped it in some ribbon to make it look a little bit nicer. So that's basically what I did and now it can hang up. And once you have this on your mobile, it is all done. guys enjoyed learning how to make this paper crane mobile if you would like to see more crafty videos like this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye so now that we have our ring attached to it we can now 